Welcome back to School of Wok. My name's Jeremy. I'm James. Great collaboration between School of Wok and Food Tribe. If you haven't seen the videos, the other videos already, we've got a handmade noodle recipe that James and Rachel made yourselves. Yep. How does that feel? Fantastic. Very, very pleasurable, very haptic experience. We're going to make a Hong Kong noodle using these handmade noodles and Hong Kong noodles is really, really simple. It's a breakfast noodle dish. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, ding, ding. Had noodles for breakfast? Oh, yeah, many times. Yes, love it, love Good, it, love it? it, love it. Yes, yeah. I like mm -hmm. noodles all the time. Noodles any time of the day, and this is really very, very simple. Right, so we're going to do a wok clock of ingredients, and we've got some spring onions here at the end, so but then they'll go tossed in at the very end. So you, you can kind of get your cabbage on the 12 o'clock, then your bean sprouts, and then it'll go. And then it will, your, your spring onions at the very end, so noodles are kind of in between. Yeah. Okay, so wok clock, there's my, my, what's it called? Sweet? Your sweetheart cabbage or your pointed cabbage. Okay. So 12 o'clock with that. And, and the then, wok clock, for those do, who don't know, is a very simple round of plates. Known. 12 o'clock, your harvest vegetables, your bean sprouts, your, your spring onions goes last, and your handmade noodles, or you could use packet, um, sort of your dry packet mm. noodles. But, You've made such beautiful noodles here. So. Thank you. Um, these are in water. Do you, you don't? Yeah, they're only in water so that they curl up nicely. Okay, so but they're all nicely curled already. Oh, okay, so, so we, we don't we don't want the end. water. No, we'll throw those in at the end. And I'm, we're doing this to show you how simple it is to stir fry up your noodles and make this breakfast dish. Okay. And you've already had a bit of a lesson from me. Yes. On Food Tribe. Yes, I know basic, basic, basic wok, wok flip push to the edge, um, tummy and head. So that's when you go like that, and yeah. And I know about getting it hot. And it's I like a little wok dance. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Tummy and the head. Big the clubs, yeah. All right, um, so what we're, we're gonna do is you're gonna, you've got your oil, I'll do the oil, I'll do the oiling. Okay. All right, you do the rest. And the only thing we're gonna add to it is the sauces, okay? So that's dark soy. Yeah, we've got about a tablespoon of dark soy, Buffy. Okay. Like uh, sesame oil, sesame, okay. and it will put in your dark soy mix a small bit of light soy as well. Make, making it medium soy. <laughs> so your medium soy, now do you know the difference between light and dark soy sauce? One is lighter. The dark soy will be slightly thicker than your light soy. And that's down to a higher percentage of sugar to salt content in dark soy as opposed to light. And dark okay. soy is more of a cooking. Yeah, and, and it's something that you use to stick around things. So say like you wanted like a really slow braised pork belly dish yes. and you wanted that sort of caramelly dark stuff colour on it and that car ah. caramel sauce, then the dark soy is better for that than light soy is. Now that's interesting because when I've had a crack at stir fries at home, I put soy sauce in, but I just put soy sauce from the bottle which is yeah. too light, so I'm, not, I'm always disappointed that I don't get that slightly dark, sticky coating. Right, so if you, but if you, especially with noodles, if you want to you want you colour those noodles, then dark soy will colour those noodles better than light. Right. Because light soy will just boil at the bottom of the wok. Yes. And th this whole thing is going to take about, what, four minutes or something? Uh, maybe one and a half. Oh, really? <laughs> For the whole cooking process? Possibly two. Right. So we're going to so... get this wok on really, really high, and I'm going to explain like it again. This. Your four ways to cool your, cool your wok down, just so you yep. remember, okay? When it's on a high heat, when it, if it's too smoky, the first way would be stir, number one. Number two, push and fold yep. without twisting. Number three, a wok toss, long push forward, yep. quick flip back, which you'll use for your veg. Number four, when the sauce, your noodles and your sauce come in. Come in head. Okay. okay, yep. You ready? But, uh, you ready for the speed? Uh, probably not, but let's give it a go. Do you want me to put all the ingredients in, or are you happy no, to do with those? I'll, I'll do it. Okay. You ready to walk? I'm ready to walk. Right, smoking we're smoking hot. In, smoking, smoking. Oil is going in, and then yep. your cabbage goes in with it. Give it a swell. Say when. Right, now, cabbage in. Fold it through, fold it through. 
That's it. Don't turn your spoon too much. Put it back over the other way. That's good. Follow it through. Give it a wok toss if you can. A wok toss with the wrong right hand. That was quite okay. good, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, quite good. Yeah, it was good. Another wok toss. One more. Right. That says it's 20 seconds. So push that to the back. A little drizzle of oil. Bean sprouts. Bean sprouts in. Smoking hot. Yes. You want to hear that sizzle yep. straight away. That's nice. Bring the cabbage over the top of your bean sprouts so they don't burn. And then give it a tummy in the head. Tummy in the head. Tummy in the head. Tummy in your head. Tummy in your head. Tummy in your head. He's good at this. Right. Let it come right up to smoking hot temperature. Push all your bean sprouts and veg to the back. And this is to allow space for your noodles. Okay. Right. This right. is the. Okay. So get your noodles ready. I'm ready. Okay, your oil is coming in for your noodles so they don't stick. They have got sesame oil around them. Wait. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Lots of smoke. Noodles in. Bring your vegetables over the top. Bring your vegetables over the top. Tummy in the head. Tummy in the head. Tummy in your head. Tummy in your head. Tummy in your head. Tummy in your head. Yep, keep going, keep going. Right, back down in the heat. You see I haven't stuck to the bottom? Yeah, they haven't stuck at all. Give them That's noodles. fantastic. Right. When you tummy your head next, yep. I'm going to drizzle the sauce in at the same time. Okay. Don't ask me how the Chinese chefs actually do it, because they usually have, they also only have two hands. I was going to say, have they yeah. got three arms? But no, it's okay, haven't... we've got okay. three arms. You ready for so tummy in the head? Right, go. Tummy your head, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, look at that. Well done, look at that. And it spreads all the way through very, very quickly. A little bit of sesame oil to help you out. And then your spring onions go in last and they'll wilt through. This guy is a true wok master. Look at that. Oh, that's looking pretty good, that's actually, amazing. yeah. No more than that, straight out. Some On the it. plate. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got a clean wok. Clean wok, clean season wok, noodles largely on the plate. <laughs> that took, what, two minutes? It must have been, yeah. Two, Barely even two yeah. minutes. That was quick cooking. But, as you can see, you've got your sauce all the way through your noodles, mm. really quickly. Let's try it. Yeah. Wow, look how long they are. So as we said, when we were making them, the, the longer your noodles, the longer you live. What is this called? Chow mein. Chow mein. Which is basically chow mein, which means fried noodles. Mmm-mm. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? That's simple and good. Really, really simple. And you get a little bit of that smokiness from yeah. your your wok hay, you're moving the smoke around the wok. And from my correctly seasoned wok, mm -hmm. see the earlier video, like, comment, subscribe, ting. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. I'm really impressed with that. Oh, that one snapped. That means That's I'm going to die any second. Would yeah, you make it again? Great. Yeah, definitely. Yeah? Feels as if it's quite healthy as well. Yeah, relatively. We didn't put that much oil in there. And you can put whatever veg you want in. Sometimes they put slithers of pork uh, fillet in there as well. But I quite like it veggie. I like it veggie, but I was just thinking it could also taste good with a couple of prawns in it. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really nice. Guys, whilst we're finishing off, massive thank you to James May and his team, Rachel as well, for getting involved in making such beautiful noodles. This is a really special Wok Wednesday. Hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Ding! Hey guys, thank you so much for supporting us on Patreon so far. We are launching our new Discord server and new tiers for Patreon on the 13th of September. You can get involved with the new chat system, with all our great new content that's going to come out soon. We can't wait to see you there on the new tiers.